Top Senate Republican wants the Pentagon to suspend the COVID vaccine mandate for troops. Senator Jim Imhoff of Oklahoma says the requirement will hinder readiness. But Virginia Senator Tim Kaine argues the opposite and points to the case of the USS Theodore Roosevelt. Mike Gooding has details. Nearly 97% of the U.S. military's active duty force has gotten at least one COVID-19 vaccination. But vaccine hesitancy remains an issue for thousands of troops who do not qualify for religious or medical exemptions. Those who continue to refuse have found an ally in Oklahoma Senator Jim Inhofe, the ranking Republican on the Senate Armed Services Committee. He has written a letter to Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin saying he has grave concerns about what he calls the haphazardly implemented and politically motivated vaccine. He says it must be immediately suspended or risk irrevocable damage to our national security. Fellow Armed Services Committee member Democrat Tim Kaine of Virginia says Inhofe is wrong. I, I disagree with Senator Inhofe on this, and I think the vaccine mandate at the DOD is going to advance our readiness. Kane points to the case of the Navy aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt. Last year, during the initial wave of the pandemic, the ship saw more than 1,400 members of the crew test positive for the virus. One sailor died, and the aircraft carrier was sidelined for 55 days. I mean, just look at what happened last year when in the or in the early months of COVID, when COVID ran through the Roosevelt, and you know, essentially had that ship not in, you know, not in full commission doing its job for some period of time because of the degree of COVID exposure on that ship. I'm the chairman of the readiness subcommittee, the armed services uh, committee. And I'll tell you this, vaccines improve readiness. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. The Air Force deadline to be fully vaccinated is November 2nd. The Navy and Marine Corps deadline is November 28th. And the Army deadline is December 15th.